Hello and welcome to another week of energy reading with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of November the 12th to the 18th, 2018. And as usual, we start with the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. And we're starting the individual star signs in a minute or two with uh, Scorpio because that's the star sign we're in. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead and see what's coming up for all of us. Card falls out, always a good thing. Let's see what we got. We got the dog and the punter. In other words, this is a week to make sure that we're all loyal to ourselves, right? So, um, you know, loyalty has to start with you. Um, you have to make sure that you look after yourself first, right? That's really, really important. Uh, show yourself some loyalty um, and then you have the punter um, which obviously is um, an animal like the leopard um, <clears throat> that is sort of hiding inside the black skin of a punter in other words the unique stripes that the the the, the, the leopard has um, <coughs> or the jaguar because you know punters come from the family of pantera and therefore they could be uh, different species like the jaguar or the leopard. The point they're making is um, they have unique dots and stripes and um, when they're in the black fur, so to speak, um, you can't see them. In other words, this is the week for all of us to um, pay attention to our own needs and let go of following the crowd, for want of a better word, um, and do stuff that you feel um, not compelled to, but you feel like, you know, that's just the life I have right now and I have to do this and I need to do this. No, you need to look at yourself this week. Really important. Have a week of self-care, right? Be loyal to yourself and um, no longer hide um, your opinions um, and make sure you're being treated with respect. Right? So that's for all of us. That's the overall energy. For the week ahead, like I said, we're looking at the week of November the 12th to the 18th, 2018, and now we're going into Scorpio. Right. Um, the uh, Scorpios go, go very much hand in hand with the overall energy for the week because you're shaming of reflections and you have the dancer of friendship. In other words, this is the week for you to reflect on your life. Uh, really important and this is also the week because we talked about self-care and you know to be loyal to oneself um, you um, reflect on your life this week and then cherish the friendships that you have in your life um, and uh, probably reach out to someone that is your friend and that you probably um, have um, neglected a little bit due to time for instance this is not they're not saying you did something wrong here right but um it is important this week to to reflect on your life and um you know rekindle friendships um or and or really cherish the friendships that you have right that was uh, scorpio going into sagittarius sagittarius you have the color mat and the bear. The calumet is a uh, pipe, uh, oftentimes uh, called a sacred pipe. Um, that is a Native American sacred pipe called a calumet. And um, it is used uh, for cleansing. And uh, so it's important this week uh, for, for um, Sagittarius's, <laughs> is that the word, Sagittarius's, um, to, to cleanse your energy, probably cleanse your house. Um, all these kind of things are really, really important. Um, higher the energy, therefore, if that, if that makes sense, right? To higher the energy. And you have the bear. The bear is all about um, softness. It's all about, well, the bear actually uh, denotes and reflects femininity. Um, but obviously, um, you know, um, not all Sagittarius uh, obviously are, are female, so it is not about a gender. It's just about the very fact that, you know, the feminine energy really has to do with, with, um, knowing who you are um, to a much deeper um, extent, right? So what they're saying to you is cleanse, higher your energy, 
cleanse your 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 the space you 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 walk in, and then you know uh, look at yourself and um, uh, if there's anything that needs to heal, let it heal this week. It's really really important. The bear that I have here is a um, is a brown bear, and um, so what that really means is um, is for for all uh, Sagittarius is to um, remember that not all not all bears hibernate. Um, but it's imp important to realize that if you feel that you uh, need to slow down a little, you have every right to do so, right? Which also has to do with, with obviously cleansing your energy so you are actually strong enough to say that to someone, right? Okie dokie, that was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Capricorns have the ferret and the lynx. Um, and what that really means for, 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 the, for this week, uh, for the uh, Capricorns, is to remember that sometimes people don't quite understand you. Right? You, you may speak very well, you're very articulate, so it's not about you making no sense. This is just realizing that not everybody gets you, right? if, that, if that makes sense, um, or misunderstands you, sometimes willingly. Right? And you need to realize that this is just a fact that in the coming week, 12, November the 12th to the 18th, people may misunderstand you, which is also why you have the lynx, which because that's a, that's a big cat that looks at a vantage point before she does anything. So, you know, she could see, she could lie on a, on a, a, a cliff or, or in a tree. And that affords the lynx to actually see what's going on um, obviously, they do this a lot when they when they're on the hunt, so they they like to have a wide field of vision. <clears throat> and when you translate it into your life, what they're saying is yes, there are people that will not necessarily understand you fully, but um, what you need to do is then remove yourself a little bit and see if there are other ways of um, explaining yourself is the wrong word, but maybe there are other other ways for you to show them exactly what you mean and if there are people that you know that misunderstand you deliberately is to walk away right because if people are out there that by default don't really listen don't really care um, because they have their own agenda or their own thoughts about stuff you know you don't have to explain yourself at all walk away remember cats are very good at removing themselves doing their own thing and only come when um, they want to if that makes sense, right? Come to you when they want to. Okay, that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Let's have a look at Aquarius this week. Interesting. Aquarius has the dancer of beginnings and the dancer of lies. In other words, you are going through changes, but you're almost done. And you are now in the process of starting, either starting over or feeling like beginning something really new. You just need to make sure as you are going into ch these changes, you know, could be a new job. It could also be that you kind of go like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, um, you know, start uh, drawing again. I'm gonna do music again. It could also be artistic, if that makes sense. Uh, but you need to really reflect if this is really the thing you wanna do right now. If that makes sense, right? So don't be don't be pushed into anything. It's not worth it. <coughs> Take your time, but also don't despair when you feel, especially this week, then um, if you're not quite sure what to do, if you're not sure, just sit it out. Just relax. Don't uh, don't feel you you are being pushed or you need to be pushed uh, in, into something, and just see what comes to you, right? Okey doke. That was Aquarius going into Pisces. Because I am Pisces, it's my favorite star sign. <laughs> right. For us Pisces, it's important to realize this week that we're going through a lot of healing. We have the polar bear and the crocodile. The polar bear is the animal that is of all of all bears that are out there um, is the most vulnerable 
uh, because it lives in the place where where life is unforgiving, where there is less options, you know, uh, food is scarce, opportunities are scarce. So we are going through healing, which is another thing the bear is about. You know, I said that earlier, there was a bear here already, a uh, brown bear, now it's a polar bear. Um, so bears galore. <laughs> what it really means is for us Pisces is to realize that we are in the process of healing and um, may feel a little, a li not maybe not necessarily low, but a feel, feel a bit, you know, well, vulnerable probably um, th this week, but we have the crocodile. Um, so when you look at it this way, you have the polar bear and the crocodile. Nobody messes with a bear, nobody messes with a crocodile, right? I mean, if, if there would be a bear in here, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, same goes for a crocodile, but that's not really what they're saying. What they're saying is just remember that you have strengths. The reason why the crocodile is here is for, is for us Pisces to remember that we don't have to change. It's not us or our doing that makes us um, weird this week because we're vulnerable, um, which, which, my, which, which especially for Pisces um, means we might remove ourselves slightly from, from people and situations because we need a little bit of space, right? And the crocodile is the animal has been on this planet for millions of years and um, has never changed. Um, it, it basically means that, that you are perfect, even the perfect is a man -made term, you are okay the way you are, don't stress anything, don't look for things that you can change, that you ought to change, if that makes sense, right? Um, and just allow yourself to feel vulnerable and not argue with anyone, not engaging in something that is really um, uh, testing, right? And, um, you know, just, just let that week fly by, <laughs> you know, pass by, so to speak. Um, and um, yeah, for all of us then, um, you know, be a little bit detached and acknowledge that when we feel our spices uh, vulnerable, um, you know, it's just the way it is, you know. Good thing is we're going through healing and um, uh, that, that's, that's, that's awesome in itself, right? <clears throat> that was Pisces going into Aries. Right. <laughs> you have the, the Aries and um, you have the hunter of dreams and the ancestor of hope. When you have the hunter of dreams, it means that you need to pay attention to your dreams. Here is what is important about that. Um, oftentimes, people say, oh, wow, I dreamt a really weird dream, and, you know, and they recall some of it. Oftentimes, you, you know, the idea is that you can't run away in dreams, and sometimes your guides are trying to reach you, um, you know, through all your life, throughout your life and your activities, and you may not be um, a very good listener for whatever reason at this point in time, so they're coming to you in your dreams. So they're helping you through your dream imagery. Um, so it would be good actually this week um, for Aries to have a um, maybe a dream journal or something. Pay attention to your dreams is what they're asking you. And they have the answers there of hope, which means that um, you are an old soul and um, things will get better, right? And there is, um, new beginning is, 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 is a bit of a too strong a word, but there is new things coming in that um, allow yourself to feel more in your life, right? Rather than on the periphery, where you probably feel a bit lost or you don't belong to people. So you're moving towards um, uh, belonging, if that makes sense. Would also be good, um, like I said, the dream journal is important because I wouldn't be surprised um, uh, if you if you weren't shown uh, maybe a lot of nature or, 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 or circles like drumming circles, Reiki share, all these things, um, because energetically speaking, you may not be spending enough time with people who are just as deep as you, right? And that may be all there is to it. Pay attention to your dreams, right? There was Aries going into Taurus. Right, okay, Taurus, you have the ancestor of guidance and the dancer of fear. In other words, your guides are around you big time this week and they're asking you to trust 
that they're there. If you are a person that uh, does meditation, that does uh, go on journeys, um, that does anything to commune uh, uh, and communicate with your guides, that's the week to do it, right? Because your guides are around you. So the closer you are to them, the better you hear them, if that makes sense. So they are, they are around you. They are, you have the denser of fear, which means there's something that you either are afraid of or that worries you and you don't quite know how to work through it. And, um, and sometimes that's another um, well, character trait uh, of uh, most Tauruses I've ever met, <laughs> for sure, is that they sometimes, you know, they, they can be um, their own worst enemy in a way. Uh, which is a trait that doesn't always help you. Right? So what the guides are saying is, we're here. We got this, right? And you got this. And, um, and they're saying to you, you know, don't worry um, about your fears and your worries because we help you figure this out, right? Okay, that's Taurus going into Gemini. Gemini has the bobcat and the blue heron. <clears throat> the bobcat, um, again, I had this earlier, the, the bobcat is a cat that is um, oftentimes seen uh, or can be seen in trees. So again, it's, it, it denotes a vantage point. Sees things from a higher point of view this week for Gemini. Sees things from a higher point of view. Detach yourself a little bit. Sees things from a higher point of view. And you have the blue heron, which means, you know, he's a... A water bird that stands on one leg, and when the fish comes, he goes, thank you. <laughs> you know, even though <coughs> life isn't really quite that simple. But the point they're making is um, you, you see yourself from a higher point of view, a much more spiritual point of view, and new opportunities will come your way. So that's why it is important for, for Gemini um, this week to not be rushed into things. And um, as you probably noticed, there's a little bit of a pattern here. Um, about not rushing things and not um, worrying too much about about things, right? That was Gemini going into Cancerians. See what we got for the Cancer people. Cancerians. <clears throat> you have the parrot and <coughs> the, the the rum. I always like that set. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me who made it, but it's the first set that ever came to me. I used to do readings for about ten years without any any cards and um, sometimes I felt it makes people uncomfortable because I have to look at them then. <laughs> so <coughs> eventually I asked the guides uh, to give me some cards and that was the first deck that came to me. <coughs> so enough with the anecdotes. Uh, Cancerians have the parrot and the ram. It's therefore really important um, what your job is this week is to be a mediator between people, between situations. You will probably be called upon this week um, to, to read people well and to understand where they're coming from, if, if that makes sense. Right? It's really, really important. Um, so, but you are that person. You are very well equipped in, in, in reading between the lines. And that's what they're asking you to do this week, is just read between the lines um, and, and see what comes at you or to you um, for what it is, because you have the ram, which is uh, an animal that hangs on a cliff, you know, therefore, again, it's, it's, it's a higher point of view, um, but uh, a ram, I hope I pronounced it right, I am ram, um, is an animal that, that also uh, denotes uh, sacrifices, right? So that doesn't mean that you are sacrificed, that you are asked to sacrifice something this week, but you, you may feel a little bit vulnerable and that's why they're also asking you is because you feel a bit unsure about things yourself. You know, read between the lines. Don't read stuff into things. Don't just read something in it because, you know, you may have a, 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 an older experience with something. And then before you realize that people are different, you know, don't use the old way of thinking to new situations kind of, kind of way, right? In other words, um, well, the good thing is you figure this out because the, your first animal guide is the parrot which is uh, basically a very intelligent uh, bird. Um, I said that earlier today in a reading that, um, you know, obviously a bird, 
um, most birds, you know, were, were dinosaurs once. <laughs> and um, in other words, they, they really survived this massive dying of dinosaurs. In other words, you have a, you have a lot of strengths and you will be fine, right? Okay, but don't don't get uh, get upset about stuff um, when 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 some news come to you or someone says something. Read between the lines. In other words, hear it for how it is intended. Right. That was Cancerians going into Leo. Now it's the same deck again. Right, Leo. Leo have the caribou and the dove. Um, the caribou is an animal, uh, obviously for those people who don't, are not familiar with their term, the, the caribou is nothing else uh, or nothing different than the reindeer, right? But reindeers always remind me of Christmas. Love the red, no, reindeer. So, so it's actually the caribou um, that we're talking about. And what is important about that animal is that the, the caribou has a split hoof. So as the terrain gets difficult, he doesn't sink in. And that's your first message. Uh, for Leos. If something is difficult this week or um, you know feels difficult, um, you're gonna get through it just fine. You're gonna be absolutely okay. You have the dove. Um, there's a lot of birds on this planet. The dove is one that has 358 degree vision, which means you see everything. Everything that is for you or isn't, you see. Right? You don't have to pay you don't have to pay attention overly kind of thing uh, because you will just notice stuff when you're in your calmness, right? So there's really not much to worry about. Main thing is that if you find things are difficult this week, do not panic and you will be fine. That was Leo going into Virgo, which is our second last star sign. We have Virgo and then we have Libra um, and that's all we have time for this week. Let's go into Virgo. We're looking at the week of November the 12th to the 18th. 2018. Let's see what we got for Virgo. Right. Virgos have the TP, the TP, TP, um, um, another word I can't really pronounce well, <laughs> the TP and the Otter. In other words, it is really important that your home, the place that you call home, feels like one. Right? If there's anything that needs to be discussed, in your home, um, make it so, as Captain Picard says, <laughs> right? Um, it just means that they're asking you to understand your home is your safe haven and you need to make sure that everything in the home, and that includes the people that live in that home, um, and you are on the same sheet. You have the otter, otters are known to hold hands so they can't, they don't drift off when they fall asleep. So in other words, this is the week for you to make your home life absolutely work and extend a hand to the people that live there to see if you can reconcile if you have to and 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 come to um um you know um admirable uh, decisions about about your life right really really important okay that was virgo going into the last star sign of the day which is libra right <laughs> Libra, you have the Shaman of Song and the Journeyer. In other words, it's a really important week for you to be... Um, if you, I don't know, you, you can see here I have a um, singing bowl here that I just put there earlier without necessarily knowing why, you know. I just saw it and so that well, should be in the video. <laughs> here it is. Um, what they're saying to you is you, you, we all are beings of vibration. In, in, for you, it is really, really important that your vibration idols as high as possible because you have the journey um, and that means that you are going through really energy hiring changes and you are on a journey already that leads you to a higher um, spiritual awareness so to speak and with that oftentimes comes um, you know physical ailments you feel crap sometimes you feel like well i'm going through something don't know what this is don't know what to do about it um so your energy needs to be higher so if you do anything with pendulums or with sound or anything that you do spiritually will help you there right um but just in case of 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 um the the, the libra people here if you just
that in itself feels so great. This particular um, singing bowl, um, the notes are A and B, so it's for the third eye on the ground. Um, I just put it here, like I said, didn't know what to do. But, you know, just being cleansed and cleanse your space is really, really important, right? So, yeah, I think that's all we have time for. Um, yeah, thanks and see you next time. Bye-bye.